know, every time I come over here, it bring back old memories. Some good, some bad. You know, the houses and things of that nature that used to be here and the people no longer here. In the last 10 to 15 years, we've been through quite a bit. We've been on lists for the worst place to live and high crime. It really makes you feel like we are in a third world country. One day I turned on my faucet and it came out yellow. And I'm like, why don't I'm supposed to be yellow? We didn't know about it for so long. And then there was like noticeable changes in health. When you don't know that you're being poisoned, it's awful. You feel betrayed. We ain't gonna understand this until we look up five, 10, 15 years down the road. Our lives will never be the same again. But at the same time, Flint made some of the stronger the strong. I feel like it's my responsibility, as well as others in the community who still care and who still stuck around to be here, to give something back to them and help them overcome some of these hurdles and obstacles they facing. We done hit the bottom. It ain't nowhere else to go but to the top. The people of Flint are resilient people. We still have wonderful lives here. The theme of my art is pieces of other things put together to make new things. I really like when someone sees something I made and they look at it and they're like, where does this come from? When I began working in clay, one of my instructors stated that you always need to know the end product. I really believe that as in clay, starting with just a clump of dirt, that we will begin to see something very beautiful come out of what's going on in Flint. You know, I took so much in, in my former life, seeing how many families I helped destroy. That motivates me to try to be a part of the solution. And what you want to be when you grow up? That's why I stuck around here in Flint. Despite the situation, these are going to be the individuals that's going to rebuild the city of Flint and have a big stake in it.